I grew up really embarrassed of my dad eating with his hands, especially when my American friends would come over, that I would beg him, if he's going to eat with his hands, to eat a pizza or a burger. Finding sense of belonging in a foreign country is difficult, and one way that will help is eating food from where you come from. Luckily, New York City offers variety of food from all around the world, so I decided to go to this Filipino restaurant. When we started opening the restaurant, I started to think about everything that I had shame about, or hiya. And one of the things was kamayan, eating with your hands, and the other thing was balut. And the third thing was also dinagoan, because these were things that we were almost brought up to think Americans would not like. But it's all in the packaging. It's the way that you present the idea. So just even reintroducing how to do Kamayanite, that I think helped change my, my identity and also my pride about being Filipino. And I think it's done that all over the world because now everyone is doing Kamaya night. For the Filipinos, they come and I feel like they have a sense of nostalgia or a sense of belonging because they come here, maybe they don't have family or they just always felt a little marginalized. Kamayan is a very traditional way of eating in the Philippines and practicing it is a great way of preserving and sharing our culture with others. Kamayan is a big feast, so most of the items at a Kamayan would be something that's off of our menu, as well as, you know, we rotate throughout the year and we change things around. So anywhere from a whole dampa fry with escabeche to adobo hipon, uh, our jeepney express, which is a take on the Biko express, our mussels, uh, pares, it's an endless list of things that can go on that table. If you have our food, you know, we try to keep it as authentic as possible. You know, we don't, this isn't a fusion restaurant. All the ingredients that we use here is Filipino. And we create new dishes, new dishes using Filipino ingredients. So when people come here, you know, it has been described as a place where it's transported back to the Philippines. And we want to make Filipinos proud. That's all we want to do. I expected to meet a lot of Filipinos, but it was surprising to see that most of the people who were there were not. For the Itim, the Pute, the Black, the White, Latino, they come in. Now I feel like we've crossed over to mainstream because they're coming here just because they want to be. I want them to be able now to identify when they meet a Filipino or work with a Filipino or are helped by a Filipino in the hospital or a lawyer, that they have a bigger sense of what our community is outside just the color of our skin or an accent or whatever stereotypes they may have. That they can come here and that we're actually doing something positive to create the Filipino identity.